Welcome to Solitude, my name is Liam, and on this video I'll be taking you through the top 10 up and coming bands from Western Australia. This list is based on my knowledge of the WA music scene and what I believe is close to a general consensus. If you disagree with me or you think I missed a band, feel free to comment below with your opinions. Also your favourite WA band may show up in a video in the future, so please subscribe for more content later. Without further ado, let's begin the countdown. Number 10, Mosquito Coast. This band shot onto the big stage when they won the 2015 Triple J Unearthed High competition for their song, Call My Name. The song even reached 101 in the Hottest 100 countdown of that year. Since then, they've released an EP in 2016, an LP in 2019, and Triple J continues to give them light attention. Their star hasn't risen as high as other Unearthed High winners, but I still have high hopes for them. Number 9, Verge Collection. After their 2016 single Our Place dropped, Triple J jumped onto it straight away and gave them heavy rotation. It seemed like they would be the next big thing out of WA after that song's success. Although, since then they've released an EP and two albums, with Triple J going a little lukewarm on them, only playing the track Feeling Old a few times. They still get a lot of local attention, and they sell out Perth shows regularly. And you might see them on a festival bill here and there. Number 8, Boat Show. This garage rock outfit have been getting a lot of Triple J attention and subsequent recognition from the Australian music scene. Fronted by Ali Flintoff, who has her plate full of musical projects at the moment, maybe this one gets pushed aside a little bit. Although Boat Show seems to get the most attention of all of her projects, despite ironically being a bit of a joke band. Now with a couple of albums under their belt and possibly a settled lineup, the band's future seems like it could be a good one. Number 7, Dulcy. Still just a young band with only a few songs out on the web for us to hear, Dulcy have been making waves locally and nationally. The four-piece all-girl outfit impressed Triple J Unearthed presenters with their smooth songs and slick style and have now received airplay on the national platform. With more shows and releases in the works, expect to see this band around in the coming years. Number 6, Sly Withers. With their laid-back Australiana sound, Sly Withers have placed themselves safely in a strong Aussie punk scene. After eventually receiving heavy rotation on Triple J with their song Lately, featuring Carla Janine, Sly Withers have grown their fan base across the country and have played to adoring crowds in most Aussie states now. Their EP Gravis was positively received in the industry and things seem to be going up for this band. Number 5, Death by Denim. The Denim Boys have carved a strong local presence with a string of successful singles and EPs. Now adopting a smooth psychedelic pop rock sound, the band receives constant airplay on Triple J and have signed a booking deal with Paradigm Agency. Looking towards their debut LP, Death by Denim continue to be one to keep your eye on in the local Australian and West Australian scene. Number 4, Great Gable. The growth of reggae and surf rock in Australia has helped produce some great acts across the country, including this Bunbury Quartet, Great Gable. After reaching a million plays on Spotify with their songs Taste and Drift, they have carved their way to heavy Triple J rotation, distribution deals, and making their debut record with Oz Music Royalty, Matt Corby. Their debut album, Tracing Faces, has been well received and they continue to win fans with their infectious sound and style. Number 3. Psychedelic Porn Crumpets This psych rock Perth outfit have been smashing it for a while now, with their first two LPs, High Visceral Parts 1 and 2, being well received locally. Now with heavy rotation on Triple J and a slew of festival spots, the future seems very bright for PPC. After supporting the likes of Royal Blood and Nothing But Thieves, the band released the third LP, and now for the whatchamacallit, and have signed big record and booking deals with Marathon Records and TIO, respectively. Number 2, The Fame. Starting out as a pop punk band called Small Town Heroes, The Fame has developed into one of WA's biggest success stories. After teaming up with Gyroscope's former drummer, Rob Nassif, and moving to the States to work with Mark and Travis from Blink-182, yeah, Blink-182, the band has gone from strength to strength. The Fame have now signed a huge deal with BMG, get millions of plays on Spotify, and will play UK Download Festival with Kiss, Biffy Clyro, and System of a Down. Number 1, Spacey Jane. 
After building a strong local fan base with a couple of great EPs and a string of excellent live shows, the rest of Australia has finally caught on. Triple J started giving them heavy rotation, they got festival spots, and now their debut 2020 record, Sunlight, which hit number two on the ARIA charts, has landed them an international publishing deal with due process. It seems the only way is up for this Jungle Rock four-piece, with a possible higher placing than number 80 in this year's Hottest 100 of 2020, and many more shows to come, things look really good for Spacey Jane. Well, that's the list. What do you reckon? Did I miss any? Please feel free to comment down below if you think so. Have a look in the video description and you'll find a link to a Spotify playlist with songs from the bands in this list. If you like this video and you want to see more content about Australian and West Australian music, please subscribe to this channel and I'll put some more videos up for you.